What's up, guys? It's Go Over Box. Today is November 1st. Uh, Long time since we did a video. It has been two weeks, I believe. Uh, yeah, something like that. It's been really stressful. We have had competition. After competition. Two, two, uh, two weeks in between, so it was a whole bunch of time to do stuff. We have a competition in two weeks now. Um, we just got back from competition from Saturday. Today's Tuesday. And so... Um, as Spain kids, we finally are done. We went to area. We go yes. Off. So they can stay after school now, which is really nice. Seven o'clock each night. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> we'll see. I, oh, I yeah. don't care about you. I'm, I'm down with staying up late. Uh, anyways. Um, competition. That went pretty good. Uh, kind of, uh, we started. Uh, he has a state spot. Uh, yeah, I, I qualified again. I was a finalist. Um, I didn't do too well in quals just because one, one time I shot the string the wrong way, like outside. <laughs> I, I, I did a little dumb. Um, I went, I went to the corner, had a whole bunch of time. I was like, okay, shoot my string, shot it the wrong way. Um, no one was on me. Anyways, uh, and then I intake stopped working, whatnot, you know. And then, but I was uh, so low in quals, but then first seed and Elims picked me, so that was really nice. Thank you to whoever was that was. But uh, and then. Second seed in uh, Elims, Jackie picked um, Audie. Audie. Me. And they went to semis. Semi. So we're still trying to get grind out for the state spot on both him and for Reese. Um, <laughs> I haven't got to competition. <laughs> so Reese, Reese is able to come to competitions now, which is awesome because he has no more band. Um, Anyways, and differences on my bot. What have I changed? Oh, you forgot to mention the skills. Oh, you mentioned that. Okay, so I got number one in the region. and Region three? <laughs> <laughs> With my robot. Uh, I kind of want to discuss the strategy now. Yes, yes. Yeah, let's, yes. Go, let's, go to let's, let's do Adi's first, because he's got pretty good strategy. So... Even though we didn't have a functional intake, the big thing about the skills is uh, the match loads. Your how many discs is it? Like sixteen. Sixteen discs. Two, two, two preloads and seven, 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 fourteen, seven, and two more preloads. Yeah. 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 That. So that's a lot, and you can just get uh, someone your drive team to be right beside the match load, and then we have this little ramp here for the catapult to just load in the discs and fire them off in the goal right beside it. Uh, and that was a bunch of points. We didn't even have to use uh, all of the discs in most runs that we did. We ended up doing all three. Um, slight mishap with the string launcher on the high score <laughs> one. Let's just say the string launchers were inverted and I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then for skills, we just ran our string launchers, not backwards that time. And um, I think it was like 42, 39, just from string launchers. Yeah. Uh, once again, shout out to Jackie for the fishing line. Is it? Yeah, it was braided. Very good, very good. Uh, although I will say we should probably have chosen a better color Oh yeah, the the refs practically had an aneurysm <laughs> trying to find out if there was string on the field or not. Yeah, like a bright orange or neon green or something. Um, is probably the best. How mode. about gold? Gold, if we can, I don't know if we can find. Oh, it. Neon we yellow would be a little bit spray better. Spray paint on some fishing line to use. What, I don't know. I don't know if that would be good. That kind of would be weird. Anyways, uh, so yeah, the match loading is really good strat. I think it's underutilized in skills right now. Yep. Um, especially like, I don't know. I think it's underutilized. It will probably be utilized by the end of the season a lot more than it is right now. Yeah, we're all planning on trying to get what Audi has with his match loaders on our bots because of how great it is in skills. Yeah, I can't can't do it on this bot just because it's not really practical. <laughs> or mine. But whenever we inevitably be the, that word, um, do a rebuild. Inevitably. Yes, yes. Whenever we do a rebuild, <laughs> whenever we do a rebuild, I'll try to stick that in there. Have we shown the catapult at all? No, we yeah. haven't done. I don't think we've even shown the catapult. We haven't, we haven't done a video since before the first competition. Oh, we, we did one me, after. Me and Audi did one. Oh, okay. That was before the catapult. Yeah, that was still flywheel. Yeah, we, we just said that we were doing a catapult. Yeah, this is Audi's catapult. Uh, same roller mech as last time he used, but it was kind of 
a little bit put together a little quicker than last time. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, we had to change a few things because we made the bot slimmer in general. So... so we should show the limit switch thing. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> the zip tie switch. <laughs> so we had to like find a hard stop to have it stop at the exact location for it's a the, little, for the uh, gear slips. Jank with the zip tie. But uh, we we had to do it fast. It was very functional. Yes, that was, that was cool. you never have to run the risk of accidentally breaking your limit switch. Yeah. So quick update on mine because I didn't do a whole bunch besides coding. Uh, coding. Yeah. I had like a little tiny. Uh, I started like before before the two weeks. I had like a little tiny additions to the um, flexible and whatnot. Just like make no no got rid of jams. Just general made it mechanically a little more solid. But then I. Uh, had a feed for so last competition I had a feed forward loop and a small P, uh, <laughs> um, <Ooh. laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh, but then online oh, we we found this uh, what's it called take back half uh, yes, take back half. so uh, if you're using a flywheel use take back half in my opinion if you want something quick there might be better ways but that's what I found is the best take back half is really yeah, nice. it worked phenomenal it, it worked awesome I don't know. There might be better ways, but in my opinion, that's the best thing we've used so far. Reese. Reese is on Atari. Reese has done something. Okay. Um, let's take off and let's start from the beginning. <laughs> so I was running into issues with my intake. I had jams. I started working on those, getting my jams out. And then after that, I was like, okay, let me get it onto my roof and flat. And that was a problem because I kept on having it to where it got stuck and just barely was staying at this position and not wanting to go down all the way. And so my idea was to add a free spin wheel on the back and cut off the ramp. And whenever you did that, it just spins up and now it lays flat. More or least most of the time. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then after, uh, after all that, we had to come up with a way of laying it flat and more centralized for the rest of the time and that's where uh, we came up with this bowl thing in the middle so like that little cross it's curved on all four edges and so whenever you're facing in all the directions and now it curves even whenever it's hitting it from like a corner uh the disc hits the edges of both of them and still lays flat we, and we tested it we hit all eight corners uh, I called it the compass, uh, the compass test, where we hit all four corners and then all the uh, in betweens, and it worked on all those three times in a row, which was nice. And after I did that, I started working on a um, indexer today. Uh, <laughs> this is what I got, <laughs> basically. So we got to compete in two weeks. So some <laughs> of this might be a little more uh, rushed. Than, yeah. Uh, so my idea was, why don't I just push it forward in, into the flywheel? And that's what it does. <laughs> I have an entire motor designated to pushing that forward into the flywheel. <laughs> it's okay, it's a turret ball. It, 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 so, it, it worked. <laughs> so after this comp, um, we have a so I don't think the meta will be turret by any means, but I do think, <laughs> I do think it will be cool to do a uh, turret. Um, maybe something to where we can do a six motor drive and a turret, which I know sounds like kind of crazy. We got a couple ideas on how we to have, do that. We have an idea. Yeah. Um, anyways, so, but that's kind of the plan for after, uh, after this next couple comps, I want to do a, uh, do a rebuild, uh, of a really cool bot. Anything else? Flywheel uh, update. Uh, for our flywheel, we came in, we came across problems about friction and stuff. And so we found instead of using our shaft collars, as oh like, yeah as like holders inside of the uh hubs and we instead used our gray spacers and we just changed a couple things to reduce friction and yeah like, and that's made it yeah. like 100 times better yeah you can shoot now most of the way across the classroom instead of only like six <laughs> yeah <laughs> instead of shooting like past across the field now we can shoot across the classroom with one motor it's really nice <laughs> it, it is uh subscribe to jackie's channel professional dumb bass <laughs> okay uh anyways Oh, uh, yeah. We got anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. I will see y'all next time. Well, we will see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.